you talk about moving out into the world and earning money. The first a job that I had was at London Hall School. I worked there in the evenings. I used to uh, wait on the tables and uh, wash dishes. I think I made ten dollars a week, and that was in 19, 1947. And that's that's essentially what I did after I graduated from Henryton. I worked at St. Mary's Hospital and I made a dollar and seventy-five cents an hour there. That was in 1954. You didn't live extravagantly um, over that time. Over that time period, we lived in a house, or we lived with my mother at first, um, and we still had a garden. We still canned. We did all of those things. So you did have enough money to pay your bills. You pooled your money. We all had to have heat, so everybody contributed to that. Everybody contributed to the food. Uh, everybody contributed to the work. So, uh, therefore, you could support yourself. Um, you had the bad necessities or necessities, and then there were things that were left over. Um, you had money, and if you wanted to go out and enjoy yourself, you could well, at certain times, places. So there was a social life, and uh, it, it worked out very well. So we were never hungry. We were never uh, homeless. Uh, we were never without uh, clothes. That's the other thing for my grandmother. She, Everything that came in her house had to uh, uh, function, had to turn over at least five times. <laughs> you know, you didn't just use it and throw it away. Uh, well, what else can we do with it? Had to do uh, several things. If it was a dress, you know, it would become, well, we could cut the sleeves out of it and make it a sleeveless dress. We can make uh, pot holders out of it. We can make dish towel out of it. We can put it in this quilt. Uh, all of those things had to happen when something came in. Uh, she used to take uh, feed sacks, you know, make underwear. Uh, she'd make towels, she'd make pillowcases, she'd make sheets, all of that. She'd cut the seams out and she'd sew it all. So my mother did the same thing. She crocheted and knitted and she would make hats, gloves, scarves, made all of my clothes. So uh, the money you made, uh, you know, you learned to do things with it.